Minecraft, one of those games where you can just build farms for no reason. 90% of the time I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. So with that being said, today I'm going to show you guys how to make an infinite lava farm in vanilla Minecraft. Okay, so constructing and building a lava farm is pretty simple. Especially a non-automated one. I will go into an automated dripstone lava farm eventually down the track. So what you want to do is you want to get yourself a cauldron, bit of cobblestone, or any building block in general, so a lava bucket, and some pointed dripstone. Now what I tend to do is I literally just place 10 of these, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight nine ten and then basically what I do is I go up by one by two sorry on every single one of these and I will place my dripstone right above the cauldrons here now you must be thinking well hang on why are you doing that right, we don't need any of that now now what I did forget to get is a trap door oh I forgot the, I deleted the lava bucket as well so what I do is I get myself some trap doors here and one of the great things that you can do in Minecraft is that you can just be stupid with some of this stuff what you want to do is you want to space out these trap doors like so obviously these ones here are going to have to go a little bit different um, on the ends, but that's perfectly fine. So you want to make sure that you no lava escapes, obviously you don't want la running lava or anything like that. So you just build a little bit of a garden box type vibe here with the area that is going to be used for lava. So you get rid of this now and you can just flick all these up and boom you have an enclosed area in which you can place all of your lava sources i recommend always putting a lava source block in this area and what you do is you allow this to drip down into the cauldrons until they fill up so i'll be back when they are full so as you can see here one successful lava uh cauldron has already been filled all you need to get now is pretty simple you just get yourself a bucket which I should have prepared while I was waiting and you can have an unlimited lava source which is great see every single time I collect a lava bucket that's how you get a lava bucket which is great or at least I think it's great so yeah that there is how you make an unlimited lava source